Hey everyone, it's FB here, we're a cast of the Stadium Team Championship 11 quarterfinal between Team Acer and AT Gaming. While we are waiting for the match to start, let's take a look at the results from last week. So in the first 8 final, AT Gaming took on Emcon in a very close match. Uh, the first map here went to tennis mode, with AT Gaming managing to clutch it out to take the first point. Then Emcon won the second map with another close score to force the third and final map. AT Gaming proved to be a bit stronger though on this map and comfortably won it and with that qualified to the quarterfinals. And then in the next match, Saw also won with an 8-6 score versus against All Authority on the first map and then proceeded to eliminate their French rivals by winning the second map with a 7-4 score. On the lower side of the bracket, M&M Gaming played against THE and managed to just barely win against the German team with a 7-5, 7-5 score. And then lastly, Lioncast won another close match against Big Grip. That match ended with a 2-1 score. Taking a look at the playoff bracket, besides Team Acer vs AT Gaming, we'll have Easy Killer vs Saw, Mad Drivers vs M&M Gaming, and Planet Key Dynamics vs Lioncast also being played tonight at the same time. And before we go live, let's also take a look at the format for this playoff. It's played in 5 vs 5 in a best of 3, which means 2 map wins will give either team the victory. Every sub match is played to 7 with tennis mode, which means that if the score is 6-6, you have to win with 2 points. The map packs consist of 3 maps that are played over 2 weeks. And this is a single elimination bracket, which means that if you lose the match, you are eliminated from the tournament. So I believe this is the final warm-up. Teams are ready and we are just waiting for it to end. And the first map will be Exit, made by Roa and the world record here is by Speed You Need with uh, 58.295. And that's uh, the end of the warm-up I believe. Let's see if AT Gaming are ready. If so, we can start the match. Uh, I guess they are, so good luck, have fun. About to start this uh, quarterfinal between Team Acer and AT Gaming. We see the lineup for Team Acer will be Danik B, Dutchy, Serbi, Sky, and Royal. And for AT Gaming, we've got Link, Scary, Kev, uh, Scary, and Danis. No, wait, there's two Scaries. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm not sure who this Snotch is. I can't even say his name. Uh, an idle kick should be removed. I don't know, the server was recently restarted, so there's some issues with it. But hopefully everything should be okay, and we are live into the first round, following Scary for AT Gaming. Perhaps someone can tell me who this, uh, this player is. It's a German player, but I'm pretty sure that's not his real nickname. He's doing pretty well, though. Currently up in the top. Danus goes up in the lead for AT Gaming. So right now, uh... This is a red point, I believe. Royal also five seconds behind already. As we are about halfway through. Not the best speed there from uh, this player here. As we see also a mistake from uh, someone from Team Acer. Dan is still in the lead for AT Gaming, but we have seen uh, lots of blue players now advancing up in the rankings. Sky, Danik B and Dutchy following him. And... Uh, should be a blue point now, even though Serbi goes down to ninth place. Danus will take first, 58.76 by Danik B. Sky and Dutchy will take second, third and fourth. And let's see if that will be enough. No, AT Gaming will take the first point. Let me also add uh, the free look camera. Alright, there we go. So AT Gaming will take the first point. And uh, the player is Swabe. All right. I'll try to remember that. As we see, Scary going down in the start for AT Gaming. Dutchy hits the edge, but didn't really get that punished. Kept his speed and uh, still doing fairly well. Link and Danis goes up in the lead for AT Gaming. This time, Royal got a better start. He's up in the top as well. As we see, Swabe crashing. Joins Scary, so two AT Gaming players at the bottom. Which is good news for uh, Team Acer, of course. Dashi goes a bit too wide, but builds up good speed. And is at third place. Royal and Link having a very close battle for first place. No major mistakes here from any of the Team Acer players. 
Planning P goes up to sixth place uh, as well now, passing Kev. So we are nearing the finish line. Serbi with an odd trajectory, but uh, doesn't really lose much from that. And that will definitely be a blue point. Link will take first, 58.73, but then Royal, Serbi, Dutchy, Sky, and Danik P will follow him. And that's gonna tie up the score. I forgot to take a look at the Deddy here. So let's uh, take a quick look at it. We see Danik P is at top 3 with 58.34. Dutchy top 16, 58.49. Followed by Swabe at top 17.52. Also Serbia at top 18 with 0.52. And then lastly, Link is at top 27 with 58.56. Seems like both teams have uh, practiced hard for this quarterfinal. Of course, if you lose it, you are out of the tournament. As we see Dutchy crashing in the start. Small bump there from Danis. And that's going to be enough for him to go down a lot in the rankings. In fact, all players except uh, Serbi passing him, it looks like. Serbi is at last place. Here's Danik B. Goes up in the lead. Good speed. But otherwise, it's uh, looking pretty promising for AT Gaming. Dutchy and Serbi, 9th and 10th place. Royal and Sky will have to uh, go up to the top here, joining Danik B. But doesn't look like. Oh, maybe it's gonna happen actually. Ah, not the best turn there from Royal. So Swab and Link will be ahead of him and that, uh, no, it's gonna be a blue point after all. Really close though. 28-27 round score, just like the first one, but that time AT Gaming took the point. So Team Acer now in the lead for the first time at 2-1. Starting the fourth round, Danik B so far in the lead in the team scores with 24 points. I had a link for AT Gaming with 23 points and then Sky with 22. Swabe with an early mistake. Danik B losing his speed as well in that uh, right turn. Oh, and there goes Scary. Meanwhile, we have Dutchy in the lead together with Sky. Closely followed by Danis and Kev for AT Gaming. Royal with a bad turn there. It's gonna allow uh, some players to pass him. Let's see if he can come back from this. That's a better turn. Gonna pass Kev. Nice for a moment. Sky still in the lead. And Serbi, can he take second place here? Not sure as we come up to the ending. It's another close round. Sky will take it. 58.75 in front of Link and then Serbi and Dutchy. Taking important points at 3rd and 4th place, just in front of uh, Danis and Kev. 6 players under 59 seconds. And uh, it's another blue point. Team Acer now with a 2 point lead. And Sky to get a link tied for 1st in the team scores. That wasn't uh, that good of a round for Danik B. Serbi now with the best start, followed by Scary at second place. Danis with a really good turn, but won't have as much speed over the uphill. Dutch instead uh, goes up in the lead here together with Serbi. Oh, as Scary clips the wall. Also see that Kev has made a mistake. Dutch now with a solid lead, 1400s in front of Serbi at second place. So looking promising again for Team Acer. And go up to a 4-1 lead. Serbi still at second place, Swabe at third. Oh, Swabe now goes up to third place in the next checkpoint. Dutchy looks to win this round. And Serbi will take second, Sky at third, and Danik B at fourth place. All within 30 hundreds of each other. It's another strong performance from Team Acer. Swabe and Danis doing uh, the best there for AT Gaming. Setting times under 59 seconds, but not enough to challenge Team Acer, who now are in the lead here with 4-1. Take a closer look at the team score. Sky in the lead with 40 points, Link with 36, Dutchy with 34, Dan P with 33, Serbi with 28, Danus also with 28, then we have Royal and Swabe with 23 points, followed by Kev with 19 and Scary with only 11 points for AT Gaming. Fastest time is uh, by Dutchy, I believe, 58.64. Dutchy is in the lead in this next round. 
So he's in a good flow at the moment. And we see here mainly blue players at the top. Swab has made a big mistake for AT Gaming, so has Scary. And that Sky, though, will go down for Team Acer. That's gonna help AT Gaming slightly, but still looking like another blue point with Royal and Danik B at second and third place. Here comes Tachi with a great time of 58.60. So he's gonna improve that best time, Royal 58.89 and Danik B 59.01. And now Team Ace are only two points away from winning this first map. AT Gaming did win that first round of the map, but uh, after that it hasn't been too close. We did have one other 28-27 uh, round score, that was uh, round, uh, round three, but... Uh, besides that, it's been pretty uh, one-sided. Team Acer has done good. As we see, an early mistake from Danus this time. And also pretty bad start from Link and Swabe. Dutchy with great speed at this section. He constantly does it uh, better than anyone else, I would say. And that's gonna put him at first place. Danik B goes up uh, to second. Maybe even to first place. Not nah, Dutchy still uh, at first... Uh, but not for long this time, Danik B in the lead, Scary is also there for AT Gaming, but uh, again, a couple of uh, early mistakes here from AT Gaming really uh, hurting them at the moment as we come up to the ending. Danik B will take first, 58.66, Scary with a good time, 0.73, but then Dutchy, Sky and Royal all with times under 59 seconds. And that will make it another blue point. Team Acer have reached the map point on the first map at 6-1. So AT Gaming will have to try and win five rounds in a row to force tennis mode. It's gonna be uh, really hard. We haven't really, again, haven't really seen that many close rounds. If that was the case, then I would say AT Gaming would maybe have a small chance to come back from this. But uh, as it is, Team Acer... Uh, Looking to win this first map as we follow Dutchy, who's again at the top of the rankings. This time though, not with as much of uh, speed over that small stretch. But he makes up for it though in the next turn. And once again is in the lead. Danik B at second. Oh, what a crash there from Royal. And uh, looked like he didn't have to respawn though. So that's good at least. He's only about two and a half seconds behind. As we continue to follow Dutchy. He's driving really, really good on this map. Will this be it? Dutchy looks to take first place. Link is at second, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Danik B and Sky third and fourth. Serbi at seventh, and then Royal at tenth place. That would uh, should be enough to make it a blue point, and we do see that being the case. So Team Acer will take uh, the first map with a score of seven one. So I will add the scores. There we go. All right. So moving on to the second map, and uh, we are uh, using the map order as is written on the site. So that means the next map will be innovative, with the world record uh, being set by Poker 59.445. We'll have a couple of warm-up rounds, as you know. And Team Acer will have some lineup changes. We see Danik B, Dutchy, Royal and Sky remaining on the server. And I believe the fifth player is Shark. So he will uh, get on the server momentarily. And for AT Gaming we have uh, a couple of new players as well. Uh, Land and Vit, And I believe also uh, Aseric. So uh, we'll have a couple of warm-up rounds in the meantime. Here's a quick look at the Deddy. So we see uh, Sky with a top two time here, 59.55. Then we also have Shark at top four, 59.57. And Dutchy is at top 12 with 59.64. The best player for AT Gaming is Land at top 18, having a time of 59.67. And then uh, we also see Danik B in the Derry at top 25, 
And looks like Shark is now on the server. So we have the lineup completed for Team Acer. And uh, also for AT Gaming. So we'll have Viet, Lund, Link, Scary and Aseric driving for them. And then for Team Acer we got Dutchy, Royal, Danik B, Shark and Sky. So I believe we will do uh, one more warm-up after this. Since uh, Shark missed the first one. And now he's not even on the server. Uh, but yeah, as I mentioned before the match started, we have the other quarterfinals being played at the same time. And uh, can just uh, say those matches again. So it's Easy Killer versus Saw, Mad Drivers versus Eminem Gaming, and then lastly Planet Key Dynamics versus Lioncast. And so far the playoffs matches have been really, really close. Uh, the eight finals had lots of close matches. So we'll see if that's going to be the case as well in the quarterfinals. So we see the end of uh, that warm-up. Shark back on the server now. Let's do one more for Shark. And then we'll start the match again. And as Link points out in the chat there, AT Gaming need to win this map, otherwise they will be eliminated from the tournament. And that of course also means that Team Acer is only one map win away from qualifying to the semi-finals. Team Acer who uh, won the edition for the tournament last year, played against Team Dignitas in the grand final. Team Dignitas though, uh, quit the tournament, uh, they played the group stage, but uh, wasn't uh, interested in uh, finishing the event, so this time uh, they uh, won't be uh, dominating the playoffs as they've done uh, a lot recently. Usually are uh, in the grand final. Also, uh, there's a uh, B playoff of this tournament as well for the teams that uh, I believe finished third and fourth in the group stage. So those matches are also played uh, at the same time, I believe. But that's going to be the end of the warm-up. So we are continuing the Stadium Team Championship 11 quarterfinal between Team Acer and AT Gaming. Team Acer won the first map with a score of 7-1. And... If they win the second map as well, they are qualified to the semi-finals. And uh, you can say the lineups again for Team Acer. We got Royal, Danik B, Shark, Sky and Dutchy. So Shark replacing Serbi from the first map. And then for AT Gaming, we got Scary, Viet, Lund, Link and Aseric. And we are live into the first round. Shark with a really bad start. Mistimed uh, that uh, zigzag movement. Uh, in the small downhill and then also hit the wall. So he's gonna be behind with quite a quite a lot. We also see Aseric having a drop down for AT Gaming. And then at the top it's Landvit and Link currently leading the pack as Royal also drops down. Looks to be another first point going to uh, AT Gaming. Here's Dutchy trying to uh, catch up but uh, this is uh, looking pretty good for AT Gaming. Vit, Link and Land all having a pretty comfortable lead. So unless they make any mistakes here they should take the round. Scary is also could potentially at least uh, pass Dutchy and Sky to make it uh, an even uh, better score for AT Gaming but Scary will go down in the next turn and then I also think Vit made a late mistake there but still Enough AT Gaming players remained to make this a point for them. Link with the fastest time, 1 minute 12 hundreds. Shark and Royal finishing at 9th and 10th place, but making uh, some big blunders. So once again, AT Gaming will take the first point. We'll see though if uh, history will repeat itself. And the Team Acer will take the next 7 rounds or not. Dutchy with a pretty bad start, lost his grip as well in that uh, small uphill turn. So 
he's gonna fall down even further. We also see that Shark has made another early mistake, so doesn't look too good here for Team Acer initially. AT Gaming now with the chance to take a two point lead. We see Land and Sky battling for first place, then Aseric and Vit follow for AT Gaming. Royal trying to make something happen here. Oh, as uh, Vit will go down, Royal uh, will gain a position. Could go either way here, but uh, right now I think there, this is a small advantage for Team Acer. Especially now with Sky in the lead of uh, Land, and then Dutchie got a slowdown. But uh, I believe this will still be a blue point. Yes, a really good time as well from Sky. 59.89. So Team Acer will take that one, and uh, the score is 1 1. Starting the third round, this time no early mistakes. Shark is at uh, fifth or sixth place in the middle of the pack. Scary and Lund with the best start for AT Gaming. Oh, as we see Sky going down in that turn, and also Dutchy. Two players are at the bottom. See if uh, AT Gaming can tie up the score, or uh, I mean, uh, regain the lead. Once again, Royal does this turn uh, pretty good. So he's gonna go up in the rankings, but that's not a good turn though. Falls down. Scary, still in the lead. Aseric is also up there, so is Link. Mainly red players, as Royal almost had a landing bug. Land is gonna sneak by him. And uh, this should be another red point. Scary now taking first, 59.98 in front of uh, Shark. With four hundreds, and Link at third, Dankby at fourth, Aseric at fifth, Lund at sixth, Royal at seventh, Dutchy at eighth, Sky at ninth, and Vit at tenth place. 25-30 round score, pretty close, but it's AT Gaming who will get the point. And are now in the lead with 1-2. Link has started off this match uh, the best, he's at 24 points in the team scores in front of uh, his teammate Lund. And then Sky for Team Acer. At third with 21 points. And we see Sky with another bad start. Second round in a row that he's having some difficulties here. Beat also dropping down a bit for AT Gaming. It's currently Shark having a small lead, but Aseric uh, will pass him in that small jump. Danik B and Royal at fourth and fifth place, Dutchy at sixth. Looking a bit better here for uh, Team Acer. Ooh, that's a good turn from Royal. Will allow him to go up to second place. Avoids hitting the wall. Let's see if he can do this turn a bit better. Yes, this time keeps his grip on the road. Keeps his second place as well. As we come up to the ending, Aseric tries to pass him and he will do so as well. But it still should be a blue point. Shark, Royal, Danik B and Dutchy all setting uh, pretty good times. Only Sky. A bit behind that time. So it's two points apiece. A bit closer on this second map compared to the first one. And again, AT Gaming need to win it, otherwise, they are out of the tournament. Good start from Dutchy. But also from Land. Stachy opts to go for a bit of a wider line, trying to build up speed instead of uh, going for the shorter line. Didn't really pay off that well, he drops down in the rankings instead. Currently at 6th place, Lund still keeping that 1st place. We also see Scary and Aseric dropping down, and also Vit it looks like, so... Uh, AT Gaming struggling a bit in this round. An opportunity for Team Acer now to... Uh, Go up in the lead as we close in on the finish again. Shark now passing Land as well before the last corner. Almost went too wide, but uh, able to uh, reach the finish line, setting a time of 59.81. Only three, th <laughs> three thousandths of a second in front of Land. And then uh, Link also with a pretty good time, 59.91. And in fact, also Dank B under one minute. 
But uh, it's gonna go to Team Acer, who are now in lead with 3-2. Uh, oh, Vit going down in the start. It's not what you want. In the meantime, we have Danik B, Royal and Shark occupying uh, first, second and third. Danik B will go down though, leaving only Royal and Shark at the top. Land in pretty close pursuit at the uh, third place. Not the best speed from Shark. Still though keeping his second place. We have Dutchy and Sky, fourth and fifth. Looking favorable for Team Acer. Can take a two point lead here, potentially. Some different lines there from Royal and Shark. Oh, wow, very different lines. Right now, side by side, still first and second, and then uh, Sky may be able to take third place to further confirm this being a blue point, uh, but he won't. It's actually Dutchy who will take that third place for Team Acer. In front of Land and Sky at uh, fifth place. Really good times from uh, Shark and Royal, especially 59.79 and 0.81. So now Team Acer with the two point lead at 4 2. Here's a look at the team scores again. Link is at first place for 80 gaming with 44. Then Shark at second with 43. Land with 41. Royal with 36. Sky with 33. Then B also with 33. Dutchy with 32. Aseric with 31. Scary with 20. And Vet with 17. And the fastest time is 59.79 uh, by Shark. So the time he's just set. But he's not doing so well in this next round though. We're gonna pass Aseric and also Lund and another red player. A double crash and a double respawn. It was uh, Lund and Link it looked like for AT Gaming. That's gonna be very costly. So let's see now if Team Acer can capitalize. Looks like they are at the moment at least with Dutchy and Danik B first and second. And Scary, Veit and the Cirque. Still doing pretty well for AT Gaming, but uh, they need to pass Dutchy and Danik B if they want to make this a red point. And here comes Danik B crossing the finish line at first place, and then Dutchy able to stay in front of Scary with a few hundreds. And then Sky, Royal, and Shark all with pretty bad rounds, but since Lund and Link had to respawn. It will still be a blue point. 31-24 in the round score. And now Team Acer have quickly gone up to a 5-2 lead. It's looking so close for a moment, but uh, somehow Team Acer managing to win the three previous rounds. So they are in a pretty good position now. Only two points away from qualifying to the semifinals. So AT Gaming in a very tough situation. Can't really afford any more respawns, that's for sure, as we see Royal going down. So that's one good sign for uh, AT Gaming. And we also have uh, Viet, Land and uh, Scary at the top, so is Aseric. So this is looking much better for AT Gaming. As we follow Dutchy. Oh, Land goes down in that turn. But uh, as long as Viet and Scary can keep their positions here, it should be another red point. We close in on the finish again. Sky and Dutchy not too far behind. Sky, in fact, in front of Sky, and he's gonna go for first place as well, trying to pass Vit, and he will do so. Great finish from Sky. 59.81 defeats Vit with 100 of a second. Uh, oh, but it looks like Shark is too far behind. He's not gonna be able to finish this one. Also, Royal at ninth place. I believe this is going to be a red point. That's. Uh, Really good for AT Gaming, of course, but uh, had Shark not uh, retired there, it could have been a different story. But uh, the score is now 5 3 instead of 6 2, so of course uh, you want to try and avoid Team Acer from reaching match point for as long as possible. So this is now looking a bit more doable for the red team as we see Vit with a really slow start. In this ninth round of the second map. And meanwhile we have Shark in the lead. Land crashing at the same port. This time though avoids having to respawn at least. But as you can see this is looking really good for Team Acer. 
Uh, looking to be an ace round even. Uh, top five at the moment. Shark, Royal, Dutchy, Sky and Danik B. Royal goes down in the uphill. But still four players remaining. It's gonna be tough for AT Gaming. Oh, but uh, there goes the second player. Sky also dropping down. However, it's still looking very, very good for Team Acer with Shark having a massive lead. Dutchy at second and then Danik B will finish at fifth place in front of uh, three red players. Great time from Shark, 59.73. And that should be a blue point. Team Acer now up to match point at 6-3. So AT Gaming uh, will have to win three rounds in a row to force tennis mode. It's at least a bit easier than uh, on the first map where they had to win uh, five rounds in a row. So let's see if they can pull it off. As we go live into the next round, we see Vit, Land, Scary and Aseric all circulating at the front. Oh, but what a crash from Scary! Almost fell off the track even. However, it's still looking pretty good for AT Gaming. Viet, Land, and Aseric doing especially well. Good turn though from Royal. Can go up to uh, second place for a moment. That's both Land and uh, was it Link crashing at the same turn again? Oh, that is really a disaster for AT Gaming. And all of a sudden, this is looking to be it. Team Acer on their way to qualifying to the semi-finals. Royal in the lead. Shark at second place. Sky at third. And then we have Dutchy and Danik B. Fifth and sixth. Aseric the only at 80 gaming player remaining. And that's gonna be it. Team Acer have done it. They have defeated 80 gaming in the quarterfinal of Stadium Team Championship 11. And are true to the semi-final. We'll see if we will uh, still play the third map. Okay, it looks like we will. So let's go to it. But yeah, Team Acer will take it. 7-1 on the first map and then 7-3 on the second map. And this means that they will play against the winner of Saw and Easy Killer in the semi-final. Again, uh, all other quarterfinals being played at the same time. Not so sure though if there are streams for the matches. Hopefully there are. Uh, but anyways, we are moving on to the third and final map. It's called Tropfen. The, the author is uh, Sirs and the world record is 56.688 by Sky. And we have the lineup uh, ready for Team Acer. It's gonna be Danik B, Dutchy, Royal, Serbi, and Coons. And then for AT Gaming, we have four players at the moment Aseric, Link, Taspolt, and Vit. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, Danik B no longer in the lineup. I uh, can't remember how. Who our uh, fifth player is, though. Oh, it's Sky. So Sky will uh, play, I assume. Alright, looks like we'll have to wait for Sky for a few minutes. But uh, AT Gaming also missing their fifth player. Let's see if they have a fifth player. Okay, there we go. So Swabe, Asteric, Link, Taspolt, and Vit will represent uh, AT Gaming. And now we are 
just uh, waiting for sky and then uh, we'll start. Don't think we have to uh, do any uh, more warm ups. Uh, playing for the first time in this uh, quarterfinal. Uh, he started training this map like 30 minutes ago, so we'll see how he will do on it. He's usually though a pretty good uh, fast learner, so... Let's see. I think this map might be the hardest one, at least the ending seems to be very challenging. We see uh, Koons not passing it now, but uh, you see a hole in the road there and you gotta make sure you have enough uh, air under your vehicle to uh, pass it which can be a bit tricky okay sky is here so let's do this teammates are of course already uh, winning this uh, match but we'll still play the third map just for fun Lineups are for Team Acer, Dutchy, Serbi, Coons, Royal, and Sky. And for 80 Gaming, we've got Viet, Taspolt, Link, Swabe, and Aseric. And off we go. Let's see how uh, Coons will do. It's a pretty good start, at least. As we go up on this uh, platform part. Gotta hit uh, the gas. A bit of lag here from Koons, but uh, hopefully he won't disconnect. Currently doing pretty well, even though he's gonna fall down in the rankings. As uh, we see both Aseric and Tazbolt having a crash for AT Gaming. Also, Viet is uh, far behind. The Koons goes too wide and falls down, so he will have to respawn. He's not, though. Maybe he doesn't know it's allowed to do so. In the meantime, oh, Dutchy goes down in this uh, grass section. Link takes over first place. Sky just behind him. And then Royal at third. Tanspelt at fourth. Viet at fifth. Swab at sixth. Serbia at seventh. Aseric at eighth. And Dutchy at ninth. And uh, Koons will retire. So AT Gaming, for the third time in a row, will uh, take the first round. See if they can uh, make the score look a bit better by winning this uh, third map. Good start by Viet and Aseric. Otherwise, uh, no big crashes so far. 2300s between all 10 players. But it's AT Gaming who got uh, first and second in form of uh, Viet and Aseric. Good turnover from Serbi, puts him in front of Aseric at the moment. Swabe goes a bit too wide but avoids uh, crashing or falling out of the track. Ooh. It's almost uh, with a crash there. Serbi now in the lead and Sky has gone up to third place, Royal at fourth. So this is looking to be a blue point, Royal mistimes that last uh, jump and uh, that's gonna cost Team Acer a lot. Link, Viet and Aseric taking the positions behind Serbi who wins the round with a time of 57.14. Uh, but yeah, another pretty strong performance from AT Gaming. All five players setting low 57 second times. They are looking uh, pretty strong on this uh, map so far. We can take a look at the Deddy as well. So Sky, of course, with the world record. Then Aseric at top 5, 56.73. Serbi, top 13, 56.82. Link, top 20, 56.85. And then Swabe, top 24, 56.87. And Viet, top 30, 56.89. Good start 
This time from Team Acer, Dutchy, Sky, Royal and Serbi. Oh, as bit! Almost uh, lost his grip. He had his grip with his back wheels, it looked like, so... He was able to keep his speed in that downhill. First round with Royal going a bit too wide there. And there as well, hits the wall. Coons also with a slow round. Let's come up to the ending here. Dutchy gets the landing bug on the border. Uh, but still able to take 5th place, or 4th place even. Sky first in front of Viet and Serbia at 3rd. And this should be a blue point. So Team Acer with their first point. Off we go again. Oh, see Link clipping the wall over the platform. Actually going a bit too wide. Goes down to seventh place. Serbia right now in the lead. Just in front of uh, Viet, Asteric will pass Royal in this uh, long right corner. And uh, Swabe is also doing fairly well. So far so good for AT Gaming. Let's take a look here at the top. Oh! That's... Uh, that was Viet who missed the road completely. And then Serbi with uh, a bad last corner. But uh, that's going to make it a blue point. Felt like that was a red point, actually, with just, like, two turns left. Asteric with the only time under 57 seconds. So it's all tied up. Two points apiece. Oh, this time Link hits the wall even harder. So he's gonna be dead last with that. Seems with a pretty good start. Oh, and that was uh, Taspold hits uh, hits the dirt uh, the dirt wall, I guess. So he's gonna also drop down for 80 gaming. Dutchy with a couple of slow turns. He's down to seventh place. Coons has also dropped down. It seems like. There's a Seric right now in the lead. Viet at second place. Let's see if 8 Gaming can get back the lead. Sky with a big crash. So we come up to the ending again. Let's see if a Seric can pass it. Looks like he will. And also Viet. Top 2 for 8 Gaming. And then Swabe at 4th. Tasbolt at 6th. Link at 7th. In front of uh, Coons, Royal and Sky. We all had uh, pretty bad rounds that time. So AT Gaming back in the lead. Definitely looking uh, a bit better on this uh, third map compared to the two first ones. Good start again from Aseric. He's at second place in the team scores with 32. Only behind Serbi at 36 points. I think he may also have the fastest time here. Yes, uh, Serbi with the fastest time so far 56.94. Right now in the lead in this next round, just in front of uh, Sky. Ooh, stumbles a bit over the Ramstein. Goes down to third place, but still looking promising for AT Gaming to get another point. And a great drop there from Aseric. Oh, but then not so good in the next one. Dutchy also passing him before the ending. And will that make it a blue point? Link is uh, finishing the round now, and yes, indeed, it is a blue point. So, a very costly uh, mistake there from Aseric. 
It's all tied up again. Starting the seventh round. Serbia still keeping uh, his lead in the team scores. Had the Serik not crashed there, I think he may have passed him. Oh, see uh, both Link and Swabe with early blunders. Dutchy right now at first in front of Aseric. Oh, big crash there from Aseric. So we got uh, three red players at the bottom. Here's Koons, quite far behind, but still collecting uh, important points. Well, not really important, but he's gonna get a bit more points here than maybe he would have expected with the amount of practice he put in. Oh, and what a crash there from Viet. Hits the hole. And that's gonna be a convincing round in favor of Team Acer. Serbian Sky, first and second. Royal Coons and Dutchie, fourth, fifth, and sixth. All with times uh, under 58 seconds. So with that, Team Acer back in lead at 4 3. Oh, this time it's Kuhn's turn to hit that uh, wall over the platform. It's looking much better now for AT Gaming. Aseric in the lead. Swabe, Vit, and Link closely following him. Oh, and then just as I say that, Aseric will go down. Vit will crash. And Serbian and Dutchie are both past uh, Swabe, who looks like he has dropped down as well. So quickly uh, the rankings can change. Oh wow! Uh, who was that? Not sure, but uh, this is looking more and more to be a blue point. Team Acer uh, maybe a bit more consistent here in the ending of the map. And as I say that, Dutchie hits the hole. Uh, but I, th I still think this may be a blue point. Serbi, Royal, and Sky taking second, third, and fourth in, uh, behind Tazbolt, who does well for Eta Gaming and wins uh, that uh, round, 57.01. But yes, it's uh, it's going to be another blue point. Link also uh, retiring. Making it a two-point lead for Team Acer. Yeah, I feel like Eta Gaming, like, consistently had pretty good starts, like on all, uh, all the maps, but then Second half of them, they kind of uh, made a bit more mistakes than uh, Team Acer, I would say. So maybe that's uh, that's been the difference uh, in this match. As we see uh, Viet going down before uh, this blue transition. Aseric with another promising start. But uh, we've seen this before. Let's see if we can keep it intact all the way to the end. Koons is actually doing really good this time at second place. Maybe uh, about to set a personal best. Sky and Royal then at uh, third and fourth. Dutchie at fifth place. As we see Royal crashing, but also Aseric. Link has also retired again. Koons is about to win this round. And I think it's going to be a pretty good time. 57.04 by Koons. So a good time from him. Serbia at second, Dutchie at fourth, Sky at seventh, Royal at eighth. Aseric uh, will have enough time here to finish, but it won't be enough. And Team Acer now up to map point on this last map, 6-3. Alright, so we'll see if this is going to be the last round or not. Again, it doesn't matter since uh, Team Acer already won the match by winning the two first maps. You see a couple of players having dropped down in the start. Link is not even driving it looks like. Aseric, Swabe and Serbi also with some uh, crashes here in the start. At the top it's Dutchie, Royal Sky and Koons at top four. So this is looking to be the last round. The Royal now hits the edge. And we'll have to respawn. But still, 
Mostly blue players at the top. Sky in the lead, 2300 in front of Coons. Swabe doing the best for AT Gaming, but uh, oh, Sky with a uh, bad landing there. Coons will take his first, his second uh, first place in a row. So a, a nice finish there from uh, Coons. And yeah, that's gonna be it. Sky, Dutchie, Serbia, and Royal taking the next positions. So Team Acer will also win the last map. Let's go next here to take a nice screenshot. Let's also add the scores. And uh, let's summarize this quarterfinal. So Team Acer will take it, winning the first map 7-1, second map 7-3, and also the third map played just for fun with a score of 7-3. So that means that Team Acer are true to the semifinals. We see it here. And they will play against the winner of Easy Killer versus Saw. And they are playing, or they started at the same time, I believe. So it po it's possible that uh, the match is already finished. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be an interesting match. I think uh, Saw is kind of the the surprise so far. They defeated against All Authority in the eighth finals, which uh, I don't think most people expected. Uh, but we'll see. And then also, of course, in the lower side we have Mad Drivers versus Eminem Gaming and Planet Key Dynamics versus Lioncast. And the semifinals will be played next Sunday, default time 8 p.m. CST. And uh, I will be streaming the Team Acer match, and then maybe if the other match is played at a different uh, time slot, I will be able to cover it as well. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for me. I'll be back tomorrow with the Nations Cup semifinals, uh, or at least one of them. Um, Spain versus Austria is played uh, on Monday, and then on Tuesday we have uh, Germany versus Poland. Uh, but yeah, again, that's gonna be it for me. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time.